All right. I know it's been a number of months, and by some means at least a year since I've genuinely talked about Steven Universe, but as usual, it's on hiatus. So, what better time to more or less talk about the problems this series has? And it's also its anniversary by uploading this today, but whatever. Without further ado, let me talk about my problems I have with Steven Universe. <laughs> Okay, if anything, that a majority of people can agree with me on this, and it also doesn't help that a lot of the hiatuses last nearly half a year every time we get about five to seven episodes. That being in the show, sometimes the story feels like it goes nowhere. And you know what I mean, Beach City episodes, or in other words, filler episodes. Now, if a series does have filler in them, that doesn't automatically make them bad. Sometimes they can work. See, with Teen Titans, like with Season 2, most of it focused on Terra, but a chunk of episodes didn't even have Terra in them, so they were pretty much filler episodes. They were meant for fun and nothing much. Steven Universe, of course, has this, so what's the problem then? A lot of times they are put in the worst moments, and most of them are just not fun. Best example, or worst case, being that the moment when they set up and say that Season 5 is going to be the most action-packed, intense moment within the series, by far, and for whatever reason, within the same season, we have two to three episodes dealing with Sadie and her band? Why? We could have used those episodes for, oh, I don't know, the guy who just came back to life and is now a space pirate because well, why not, seriously? Nope, we're, we're just going to skip those episodes and say all those things that he just did. They, they just happened, but we're not going to focus on that. And in the meantime, let's spend about four to six episodes of Steven glued to his phone. What? So, yeah, sometimes the story just feels like it just wants to go all over the place. When they bring up an interesting topic, so like example, Lars being a space pirate when he just came back to life, no, no, we're not going to spend, okay, fine, whatever. And yeah, yeah, well, every single episode contributes to the overall plot, but do they really? Every single one of them, like Rising Tides, Crashing Skies, Sadie Keller, The Big Show, Onion Gang, A Bit of the Question, Back to the Kindergarten, Half of Dewey Wins, Gemcation, Future Boy Zoltron. Oh yeah, th those are episodes, like, you can't miss them. Like, you have to watch those episodes. They contribute so much to it, even though most of them are not all that exciting. And hey, you know, after escaping death just an hour ago, you want to go help your mayor? Because why not? We, we haven't used him in a while in the story. Oh boy. The problem is the initial lack of villains within the show, or the absolute presence of them. It's something that could have been done just a little bit better. Mostly because throughout Steven Universe, the Diamonds are pretty much the antagonists of the whole story. But they don't really leave much of a threatening force or even a foil to Steven. If anyone that does a pretty good job of being an antagonist or a villain, it would be Peridot when she first showed up. At least within, you know, season 1 and a bit of season 2 when she had her limit enhancers. She at least made her presence known to the Crystal Gems and seemed threatening and she would show her face here and there and would have some involvement into the story every time that she was there. Even if she wasn't, you know, exactly there. She still felt like that she was doing something. But you know what ended up happening to her, her old redemption and everything. Now, besides that, the best villain to me within the series has to go to Jasper. And I'll probably go as even saying that she's probably my favorite character now, thinking about it. Because when she's at least on screen, she is definitely trying to do something. She is definitely making an impact. You always feel like she's doing something. Granted, she always gets beaten, but she's doing something. She's really doing something, especially with the whole arc with just going around and collecting other gems and just being a menace to the crystal gems and like them being worried. While the diamonds, you know, the quote unquote real villains just kind of sit around, act tall and cry and take action after seasons of being teased and just being there while the soldier that was forgotten by the general does more work every time they're on screen. You have this entire force, these galactic aliens that take over the galaxy and they don't do anything? What? That's such a missed opportunity.
And the final issue that I have that I can say is that because this is a cartoon, I can talk about the animation and a bit of the art style. We all know what it is, but we've all heard jokes about it before. Steven being taller than his counter than season one, and then by season three or four, he needs a step stool. What? Like, look at this. R remember, guys, he's 14. Almost 15. I say this is a problem because it can be a bit of eye glaring and distracting sometimes. And please don't give me the, oh, it's just the storyboard's art style. Okay, well, that reason would have worked maybe within like season one. I'll probably let it slide by season two. But seriously, this is season four and five when, you know, they're trying their hardest to really capture you within the story you know, where everything's trying to be more grander than the last season and everything, and we have stuff like this? Are you kidding me? Like, no, by that point, it's a poor excuse. It really is. There's really no reason why Steven should be no shorter than, like, your, your desk that you have within your own room or somewhere within your house. That shouldn't be how it is. He's 14, people. He shouldn't be shrinking as he ages. It's backwards. But those are pretty much just the major problems I have with the series. I could go over like smaller things, but that really just be nitpicking, and I wouldn't really exactly have a strong drive to really hone in all my points there. But yeah, and if anything, I don't hate the series. Because if I did, I wouldn't have had reviewed episodes, made theories, and other videos for the past two years about it. I do like it. It's just that, you know, after all the time of thinking that I've had with the series and everything, looking into it as much as I can, there are some problems that I try not to talk about so it doesn't askew my view half the time, but by this point, you know, I see why not. I think it's about time that I can at least say what I think is wrong with this series and how it could have been improved upon. But by this point, I don't think we're exactly going to get that. It's not like they can just magically fix everything within like the last, I don't know, 10, 15 episodes. That wouldn't really make up for it. But if anything, I do probably plan on making uh, a similar video to this saying, oh, what I do like about Steven Universe. Like, because there's clearly something that I like if I kept talking about it for years on end to everybody. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any other discussion topics? I'll try to answer them best I can. Click all the beautiful links that I lead to other social media sites, and if you go to them, tell them I sent you there. Thank you for watching. That's greatly appreciated. Have a great day. Have a great night. And everything else, you know what to do.